Sometimes you will be given information and then you need to convert it and write it into a Venn diagram. So for example, in a group of 100 students, 50 study mathematics, 29 study biology and 13 study both. And we want to draw a Venn diagram to represent this information. So the first thing that we're going to do is draw out two circles. And we've got uh, maths and biology. And we're going to draw a box around out the outside because potentially uh, some people might not study either. Now, when drawing a Venn diagram, it is very useful to start at the middle, at the intersection, and work your way outwards. So what we're going to do is we're going to start at the intersection where we know that 13 study both maths and biology. Then we also know that 50 study maths, and so this circle must add up to 50. So we've got 13 there already, and so we'd have to have 37 there in order for those two to add up to 50. For biology, we know that 29 study biology, and so this whole circle must add up to 29. We've got 13 already, and so this must be 16. And so that takes care of maths or biology or both. So in total, we've got 50 plus 16, so 66. So 66 study maths, biology, or both. And so whoever's left over must be on the outside. So 100 take away 66 is 34. And that is how we can convert this into a Venn diagram. Start with the intersection and work your way outwards.